your pantograph comes in a box and in this case it's unassembled it's got four slats and a bag of parts the parts include a stylus a pen a slider what's a slider and a couple of pieces of hardware what you'll need for using your pantograph is something to protect the table a pantograph of course a ruler a picture which we don't have out yet and in this case we're going to transfer the picture to an art board also important probably most important is a list of instructions okay we've chosen to use as our small picture a picture of a hummingbird and we'll be enlarging that to fit on the artboard Okay, the picture is how big? Four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. By three and a half inches. By three and a half inches, okay. So three and a half by four and one and a half. Okay. And we have a board that is 12 by 16. So, um, take the long measurement, which is the four and a half. Mm hmm. Okay. So, we need the calculator. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Is this the first thing to do then? Uh, no, the first thing to do is to assemble the pantograph. Okay. So you take, there's four slats, you, and they're each lettered, A mm -hmm. through D. So at first you take the A slat, and you put the anchor through the, through the end hole. Okay, so this one, when I took it apart, and because I can see, I shouldn't have screwed these down so far. I they were at three and a half, and the, this one was overlaid. And that may change, so okay, don't worry so about start, putting it at three and a half. So does it matter? Uh, the measurement goes. Well, there isn't any. All right, so I see what you're talking about. So A goes under B. Okay, after much tribulation, the anchor goes at the close end of A. B goes over the top of A. The slider goes between A and C. The stylus goes under B and D. One of the pieces of hardware goes at, we've chosen to put a two. And then the pencil is at the tip of C. Okay, in order to protect the table from the anchor, uh, you need to have some sort of cloth or a little piece of rubber. Um, 
shelving mat works well and you anchor it to the table all right it's working okay you take this small picture put it under the stylus position it and then take the artboard and position it note that the top of the picture needs to be registered roughly to where you want the upper end of the photograph to be transferred to the canvas when that's when that's done then you tape the small picture to the table preferably using painters tape okay check for registration And that looks good on the board. Okay, we have everything taped down. Check for registration again. Make sure that everything looks centered on the board. Everything will fit. And it looks good. So we can start drawing. So, put the stylus on the edge of the photograph and start tracing around, making a pattern on the artboard. And so you can start filling in the details of your photograph and it magnifies it two times. Because we have the pantograph set at two which precisely doubles the original image. The original image was four inches, four and a half inches. So it'll end up being about nine inches tall when we get done. Okay, then start filling in the details like the wing. This does two things. It precisely copies the scale 
reference fraction enlargement in precision and it keeps the proportions the same, the lengths of the lines, the angles of the lines, everything is equal and the same as the photograph. That's important to measure to the center of the eye or some exact surface. And you have your drawing. The rest is filling in the details. All right, well, here we have the original photograph of the hummingbird. And over here we have blown up in proportion the finished drawing of the hummingbird roughed out with all the angles and so forth put together. Note the detail is precise and equal. This video was brought to you by the Twins Production. This is our very first YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed putting it together. Follow us in the future. Thank you for watching.